Hello, everybody. It is the final match of the Division I quarter finals. Pancake Jones, also known as Punkation, versus Viro, also known as the Live Clucking Egg. It is a battle of the breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. And with me in the commentary booth is Tama, also known as Tama Pless. What's going on, man? Hello. I'm doing, I'm doing great. How much Taco Bell did you have today, Simply? I actually was trying to get Taco Bell earlier, but the line was too long, so I settled for Cold Stone. Unbelievable. Actually, that's a that's a good settlement, honestly. I'm down with that. It was pretty good. They're right next to each other, so I was like, ah, I need something. I gotta get fat somehow, so Cold Stone will do. But yeah, man, I mean, pancakes versus eggs. What wins in the breakfast department? Well, in both of the breakfast departments have been playing WoW recently. Punk okay, yeah. just breathing WoW into the life of all the Mario runners who don't want to play Mario. Not only that, but he's breathing WoW directly into his lungs. I've heard rumors that he actually is hooked up to a system that is ingesting straight World of Warcraft particles into his air, and so he is living and breathing World of Warcraft. That's just uh, the age we live in. So they've been uh, they've been a little bit distracted, to say the least. But the thing is, that means that they're in a somewhat even playing field. I don't know how much Punk has actually been playing. I know I'm almost certain he's done some warming up this week. I know he was playing yeah. today. I talked to him earlier. I'm not sure about Viro, but I am sure this will be a spicy match. But back to the topic of pancake versus eggs, I, I just want to offer my thoughts. I think eggs, you know, obviously they have more protein, so I think they're going to pack a better punch for the long term. But in the short term, pancakes win because they're tasty. Definitely. And Egg himself said it. He only got better at the game after he dropped the egg from his breakfast. I don't believe it. Unless he had some sort of substitute. He's a breakfast god. Of course he has a substitute. I didn't know he was the breakfast god. Tama dropping some knowledge here. Going into bomb clip, commentary, you know, talking that garbage that has to be talked. Just have to get it out there. The huge bomb for Viro and just taking a massive lead over Punkation right here on yeah. the first star. I don't know if Punk is going to be bringing it back now. Not a whole lot of room left. Punk A getting a medium bomb, dusty rollouts. This might be the end already. We just started. Yeah, the GG's coming out in chat. We already know it's over. The egg already... Come on. Come on, people. Egg hasn't seen a dust frame in his career. He doesn't have time for that. 12.7s. Take it or leave it. Ooh. The rollouts at the start from Vira. Probably gonna get a 12.6, but it's actually a 12.7 because the rollouts are a frame faster slide time, but slower than long jumps overall. And I was right. Oh! So technically, we were both right. Wow. That's that's nice. I'm comforting. Comforted. Thank you. You're welcome. Now both of these boys are gonna head over to Wops. Let's see what stars they do first. What kind of man are you? 100 coin man? Owless man? Um... Cannonless man? Cannonless if I'm doing texture. Probably owless if I'm not doing texture. That's fair. I, I think, in theory, doing 100 is the best, but then you get done with 100 and you just have a little bit of extra nerves for owless and cannonless. Yeah, because now you have, like, this good 100 to back up your wants and you're like, please don't mess up these easier stars. But neither of them messing up. Yeah, Viral rocking the cannonless. Punky rocking the Owlus. Pretty much the biggest thing here is 100. Now, Punky did have a bit of a fiasco recently with Owlus, but not running into it this time around. Cleaned up his act. He actually almost died. Like, he, he was one fall from dying, didn't get a backup coin or anything, and made it. That would have been quite the Omega lull, to say the least. <laughs> that would have been quite a way to go out. I know Punky is... An advocate of making fun of people for dying on stars and races. I know he wouldn't want that fate to happen to him. It's a vicious cycle. Punke, you know, he likes to make fun of players for that. People like to make fun of Punke for his very safe play style. 
and it's just a vicious feedback loop. You know, we just gotta love each other. Yeah, and speaking of safe, both of these guys are doing the same similar movement for like the same stars. Playing the same game too. It's just a lot of the very similar things going on on both screens. They're both looking real nice here. They're looking gorgeous. Just I could eat them right up. Quite delicious. I just ate too. I'm I shouldn't even be thinking about eating, but all this talk about pancakes and eggs has got me hyped up, but Jokes aside, nice 100s and very strong starts from both players. Exactly what you want to see. You know, the worst thing that can happen is you just completely mess up in the beginning and then from there on out, not even close. But tying it up, Funky, of course, playing super safe. Viral actually gaining the lead due to big boy strats for the 100. Oh, wait, actually, no, they did. They both did the same strat. Yeah, Viro just slightly more optimal than the Commentator brain is melting. You're trying to hide it. Yeah, the food has got control right now, so not able to put too much memory allocation into my brain cells for the commentary. Bonk. Not the bonk you want. Punky sneaking into the lead. Ever so slightly. Yeah, I mean, kind of crazy. We thought it was over at Bomb Clip. Fyro had a banging lead, had the big bomb. Things were looking up, but somehow, Punky has turned things around in Womp's Fortress. Let's see if Fyro can bring it back. An extremely technical boss fight going on right now. These ground pounds are frame perfect, and both players landing them just completely. No problems. Making it look easy. Yeah, they're both having really good starts right here. Sub-7 starts, and that's not bad for a race at all. Would you say that this is the run? Run of your lives? Yes, run of my lives. Perhaps. I would have to agree. They're kind of cooking it up. Yeah, no fun like about getting 6-4x. Spicy. Pretty like sexy lane. Her punk A right here. Pretty cozy. He's got his blanket on. It's not on all the way, though. It's like not covering his feet. Viro slipping, okay, and putting the blanket over punk A's feet. But not tucking him in yet. Hasn't told him any bedtime stories. But punk A fairly comfortable. Okay, starts comfortable, ends comfortable. He's always about to fire. Punky's just like a machine, man. It, it, it blows my mind that he, the strats that he pulls out in these races are so safe. It's just like a big, big counterpoint argument, I guess, against a lot of players, at least for racing. You know, because there's like, like what we saw in that last race, even Ouija kind of cooled it down. Paracusi has cooled it down quite a bit for playoffs. Punk has been cooling it down the entire league and just dropping 48s over and over and over. Yeah, that's the, the experience coming in. He can play any way he wants and still gets really good times. Beautiful and fly. Not can do it too. Oh, okay. That was a really nice move. Slick reaction. That was indeed slick. But no matter how much experience you have dark rolled, it's not always going to let you have it easily. That's kind of this game in a nutshell. Like you, Even on stars that are supposedly free, like maybe Baby Penguin or whatever, you can never be asleep at the wheel. You gotta be focused, aware, thinking about what you're doing. Dark yeah, World is a huge one. Gotta have a good balance of autopilot. Punky taking a ledge grab. All right, taking a quick pause, sizing up the scene, feeling it out. A few pauses, making sure everything's going right, making the cycle. Okay, probably not. 
Definitely not looking like a shig. That was really close to dying. So like Byro has figured everything out, was using his superpower of being able to stop time, which probably the best superpower for speedrunning, I would have I would think. Either that or yeah. being able to rewind time. Those would both be extremely advantageous. Yeah, like imagine being on world record pace in Sky, your heart's just beating out of your chest, and you can just stop time. Take a quick little break. Ooh, that bro was missed. Not enough sauce in that spin at all. Some deplorable claims coming out of the commentary booth from Tama claiming perhaps that Punky may have modified his game's hardware, the software ranges on the bomb explosion radiuses, and perhaps offering Punky an advantage. We'll have to see how he responds to these claims. I'm calling for a, a DQ. Okay. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Punky has been disqualified. Sh thank you, Schmelk, Sh for the sub for two months. Welcome back to the Clock Club. Bust those clocks out if you've got them. Rock out with your clock out, as they say. This is the last match of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get crazy. Of course, it is not over. Not a disqualification. Punky is just that good. Yeah, he's definitely using his giant brain. To avoid DQ. Viral did interesting cam. Okay. That could have gone really bad really quickly. Nice backup. Yeah. Cleaned it up really easily. And that's part of being good at this game, minimizing the time losses when you start making mistakes. Absolutely. Alright, okay, walk it will work. Looking good. Here we go. And we are working overtime in the back room, ladies and gentlemen, to get this synced back up for y'all. Viro had to stop time. Which doesn't make a whole whole bunch of sense considering this is two dinosaurs duking it out. And that was the land before time, so I don't know how that works out. Viro with the bonk! Shout out to Lance for the good joke and the missed wall kick. Oh no. Oh goodness. We're one step away from a Mario meltdown. Anything could push the button to explode Viro violently around the room, spreading the yolk everywhere. And that would just not be what you want at all. Especially this early in the race. Yeah, gotta keep the yolk in the shell for sure. I love the puns. I love how we got the pancake versus the egg. It's so good. Pancake not going to let anybody flip him. He is yeah. solidly on the ground. I'm actually extremely disturbed that Punky does not eat his pancakes with syrup. He only puts butter on it. He's got to watch his figure. Unbelievable. Doesn't like sticky fingers at all. This is true. Viro, for, th for those unaware, Viro, before he was Viro, was Live Egg. And, you know, you can do a lot of things with Live Egg, the Live Cluckin' Egg, Egg, but the Egg is forgotten. He's come out of the shell, however, we just keep bringing it back up because it's just a legendary name. He doesn't like it, though. Uh, I don't know why he doesn't like the name. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good name. Maybe just because everybody clowns on it, but really, we it's because we love it. Okay, delivering the goods. A little bit of a different star order here, but I, I would have to guess, I mean, okay, after Viro's wall kicks a work fiasco, Punky definitely rocking a pretty good lead. Yeah. It's not GG, but it is extremely cozy and going into basement, not where you want to be. Almost a 20 second lead. But BBH might have something to say about it. It's not always the easiest stage. One thing can go wrong in this BH and like, it just spirals out of control. Two star stage can sometimes turn into a nightmare.
and we are working on the resync right now, ladies and gentlemen. Gathering the resources. Getting our best men on the job. Oh, wow, that wall claiming Punky's face. Trying to sneak by, but slapping him around. Pretty yeah, heavy wall. Like the fact that Mario just passes through them. That wall is definitely not down for that. Not at all. It's always weird to me when people do book cakes first. I, I, I don't know what it is. It feels like a random number generator in my head whenever I go to the stage. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll do books first. <laughs> I'll do ghosts first. Never. There, there's some stages where you have a set order, but sometimes it's just all willy-nilly. Yeah, you just do whatever you can. Byron not working on his last star. Yeah, if, okay, we're, if we do the math on the timer, it looks like Viro maybe like 10 seconds behind, 15 seconds, which not too bad at all. But playing against a player like Punke, it, it is realistic. Oh, Viro not getting the hit on the boo. Does he know what to do? I'm trying to learn about him. Really good. I think if he moved a little to the left, he would have blurred up faster. That, I believe, is correct. They kind of go based on where you're moving and how, how you're moving. So if you're not moving at all, they just slowly slide towards you. But if you're at least moving, you can make them move faster. Fire once again, pausing time. I think this would help, but maybe these breaks in his gameplay are, are causing issues. You know, it's not one continuous sequence of events. He's breaking it up, which, I don't know, maybe stopping time isn't as helpful as one would think. All right, first blast from Punky. Doing it real safe and definitely making end right now. Not opting for the Tama Plus strats, of course. He, he knows how to do it. Punky, very consistent, but playing safe. He also very much hates it, as he's expressed on Twitter multiple times. <laughs> Tama Plus is a funny thing. When I saw it, I was like, I don't think this is going to be done in runs, but... Inevitably people will figure it out and it's kind of funny how it works because it's like it only takes one or two players at the top to start doing it And then it becomes competitive because they're like, oh man, this guy's saving two to three seconds over me in this stage Like I, I need to learn this now. I need to pick it up Yeah. Who, who was the first person, you know? Who, who I really tripped draws him too. Oh, Viro, oh, whoa, Viro, I think he didn't want to do the faster class. He wanted to do something else, but he didn't go over the hill he was not ready. Oh, man. Almost cracking. But yeah, if you want to strap against RTA, then definitely trick Drozdowski into doing it. And then he'll support it a few days later. Draz, one of the crazier players out there, will go for some very nutty strats. Recently picking up the zero and one star world records and on his way to getting 16 star world oh, record. Viral going for it again. See, th this is the thing. You go for that kind of strat, and if you mess it up, it, is just, it hurts so much. And meanwhile, Punke not even bothering with it, making you look like a fool. Yeah, Punke just taking it nice and easy. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Viral cracking and coming out of the shell, but... The yoke is all over the place right now. Klepto denying him, not accepting him as one of his own. Not the, not from the same breed, but that that was some BS right there, pretty much. I, I think. Like I don't know what yeah. causes that. I think he just barely missed a star. It's really wonky. Like there's some parts of the bird that are doing damage, and it seems like it's a very small amount. But Viro somehow finding it in a really tough position now. Time is just ticking away. Punky already doing work and leap a lava lamp. Viro still needs to do two pillarlesses. That's one in the bank. But, Actually, I don't think he does both. Oh, really? Yeah, I think he does THI reds. Ooh. Okay. Well, then this is not that scary. Yeah, still pretty scary, though. Definitely didn't want to ask sell like that when you only have to do one pillow. Oh, okay, the dinosaur rocking that newish movement. Chat now getting worried. We might never get the resync. Desperately waiting. 
We have been, we've filed multiple requests with the association, but the business is just booming. There's a lot of, you know, the, the ladder, the chain of command to work through to slowly get the message delivered. Oh boy. It only took us literally making him really angry at us. Now we're about <laughs> to get fired. Oh no. Oh man. I literally live off this paycheck. Please, someone help me. Yeah, kind of. It was a desperate call out. Didn't mean to be so aggressive, but we are, of course, getting what we needed. So maybe a sign that sometimes you just got to be aggressive to get what you need. The resync is happening. 1909 is the time. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Sync it back up. We can see that Punk A does indeed have the lead. Hitting up Lava Boost. And he nails it. Playing it safe, of course. It's so scary when Punk A has the lead because you know the chances of him messing up are pretty low just because he's playing so safe. Yeah. Like, if a player like Paracusia or a player like Ouija has the lead, it's scary, but you know that there's that chance that they could really slip up because they're, yeah, they're doing some hard strats. They definitely succumb to meltdowns. But Punk A, it's only every now and then that you catch him on a day where he just starts having meltdowns. He's a robot. It's my only conclusion. You might not be wrong, actually. Here we go! But I'm having a lot of trouble picking up that cap. Throughout this round in general, just not having any trouble. He can just be away, grinding oh, the Molten Viro. Core. Viro, literally in the Molten Core. Not the, the one that gives you epic loot, but the one that gives you epic frustration and epic time loss. Respawning in the Volcano, so it's not that bad, but man, it's rough. Yeah, that's a rough 10-ish seconds of the drop right there. Just didn't hit the right spot. Okay, wraps up LL. No deaths on his end. Here we go! Punky can just be on, on break, taking a, a little snooze fest. World of Warcraft comes back, not a problem. Oh, okay. This egg is not looking too good. It might be burnt. And that's really sad because burning eggs actually takes a, a different set of skills. Yeah, you get a you get a pretty large window of time for your eggs when you're cooking them up. All right, here it is—the the route difference right there. Viral heading to HMC early. Prehistoric, actually. <laughs> Taking a look through the museum here. <laughs> on so your left, you can see a, a wild HMC. And on the other side, we have Dire Dire Docks. A lot of sharks in the tank. A few mantas are gonna come up later. And a beast on Byra side. But don't quit, don't get it twisted. Despite these being some older animals. They still have fight in them, and they have experience on their side. They've seen it all. They don't need the hottest strats. They don't need the flashiest moves. They just need a controller, a little bit of time, and a chill mentality. Draws coming in hot with the raid. Smiley faces from all sides. We are being attacked. It's almost it's like a opposite. Sydney. Yeah, this is... I don't know how to feel about it. 153 coming in. Welcome, everybody. 1,000 oh, Ohio is coming in. Save and quit. Oh, the pressure coming in from the raid from Drozdowski, perhaps banding together with Punkation to crack the egg once and for all. Not really sure, but that is a fat save and quit. And things are just... That, that's about the worst scenario. I mean, yeah. the, other, the other one being like a save and quit in Rainbow Ride or TikTok Clock. But that is a hearty 
loss of time. Punk Look at all those is, doors he's opening. Yeah, this is a lot of castle movement to get through to get right back to where you were. Punk A is, I mean, at, at this point, Viro has tucked him in. He's told him some bedtime stories. He gave him a glass of milk, and he's just warm. comforting him. Yes, warm milk. Thank you very much, Tama Pless. <laughs> Straight from Canada. The best kind of milk. The milk bags. <laughs> <laughs> Byron known to be made fun of for the way he says milk and leg. Speaking of a leg, we have a lot of leg here in Fire City. A bunch of legs. The Goombas, the Mario. Okay, of course, Rockin'. I, I won't even call it new anymore, but the safer and just as fast, if not faster, movement. Still can't believe that that is. It took so long for that to come through to fruition. All it takes is a slightly higher IQ brain than the rest of us. We're all dummies doing this really hard fire scene movement where you make one mistake and don't cycle. So we will just walk through and said, hey, this is actually not that hard. Still, many players rock in the old movement just because there's so many hours poured into it, though. It's kind of interesting. The new strat, I feel like you could grind it maybe five to ten hours and, and get it some pretty consistent but the old strap takes a solid like 20 plus it's extremely difficult yeah the old strat you'd walk into a 70 stream in 2016 half the time they spent practicing for their world record attempts which is the dire scene tough one don't get taken care of king koopa winding him up another day at the job clocking in doing his thing, sipping some coffee, at the same time taking a nap in a blanket. The storyline's not really adding up here from the commentator. I make it a whole load of sense. You it's know, at this rate... Discussing bagged milk. We'll go ahead, Tama. <laughs> at this rate, it might be Punke who's talking about it. Oh my goodness. The reversal. Punke playing his Uno card. All of a sudden, Viro in a blanket, suffocating. Too much heat for an egg. <laughs> Yoke definitely not looking too good right now. Commentators beating it to death. Just cannot stop bringing up yolk and eggs. Every chance we get. Despite He's stepping his on name being Byro. <laughs> We're definitely causing some type of pain to someone right now with these jokes. And now getting a notice from the back room. There has been too many egg references and one more. And we are going to be cracked. <laughs> and that'll be it for me. Thank you guys very much. Signing out. It has been fun working for GSA, but I guess this is the, the end of the road for me. Conflict of interest right here. No conflicts on Punk A's side. Grabbing all of these coins. Amp treating them nicely, even though it looked like they wanted to attack them. Clockwork. The Clockwork Elf. Punky working overtime 24 7. No short circuiting. This is the like highest. <laughs> Pretty much. He has updated the firmware, upgraded battery life through the roof. Doesn't even need to charge. He has one of those um, travel packs. Batteries for days right there. Solar powered. Definitely solar power. Actually, no, it's not solar power. He lives in the night. Taco Bell powered. The materials are able to break down. Baja Blast powered. That's actual power. That's some real power right there. Actually, unbeatable power. Alright, Byron doing the old fire sea. One of the few. The few remaining dinosaurs. Yeah, Ouija busted it out last race. I think Cheese is still doing this strat as well. I could be wrong about yeah, that. Yeah, Cheese still does it. It, it, it. I understand the philosophy. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, if it already wasn't really that much of a problem, then stick with it. But there are definitely some tight moments with this strat that are a little bit scary. 
bro, looking good. Looking better than Punky, actually, if I were seeing. But hard to tell exactly where they are in relation to each other, of course, if I were already done with HMC. Punk still has to go back and complete it, but surely Punk rocking a sizable lead and still has not made any mistakes. There was talks in the chat that Punk could be on 47 pace. And Perhaps. Low 29 is pretty good for a race. Yes, this is Speed Demon. Now the chat getting in on the egg memes and puns. Everybody having a great time, except for the egg himself. It is infectious. And convective, just like the oven that I put the eggs in, which I don't know why I put eggs in the oven. Not even making sense anymore. Punky taking care of the little Goomba, no lag reduction. Had to do a backup triple jump right there, but he nailed it. There are definitely some people who are not very happy about the lack of lag reduction on Punk A's side. That would be me. <laughs> That's completely fair. It's basically, it's like free real estate. That that one at least. That Mario Cam, I yeah. feel like that strat's pretty straightforward, but... It doesn't change your inputs at all. Those are the best. If you can do the same exact thing that you would normally do, I mean, that's usually the case, like with a, a fair amount of them, there are some where you have to completely do different inputs. But sometimes it's just your field of vision gets really messed up. Like uh, Tall Tall Mountain during the red coins, like with 100, you go Mario Cam. You can't see what you're doing at all, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I watched you do that for like 20 minutes. It looked painful. You're really it's losing good. time doing it too. <laughs> nah, it's good now, we're all good. We are just fine. You gotta drive down the hood a little bit, get used to it. Before everything is nice and fine. And, okay, rolling up to the Prana's hood, taking them all out. Not a very nice guy. It didn't do anything wrong, honestly. They don't, I mean, I think they're, they they don't have the best intentions. It's, it's a dog eat dog world out here, though, in the Mario Kingdom. Mushroom Kingdom, excuse me. Because as soon as they're fully grown, they're going to start blasting Mario with fireballs, trying to do damage. So, you just kind of nip it in the bud before it's too late. I can respect it. Yeah. That's called being smart. It's uh, the optimal way to approach life. You put all your problems in the bud before they become problems. Oh, breezeless. Ooh, that's Man. not good. That's not this trick. Started. That's like the one trick that will never be solved, I think. There's that's just like one way to do it, and it's very precise, and you're never going to have it 100 percent consistent. It's just not happening. It's always a risk. Yeah. There's so many variables where you land after you roll out. How you do your triple jump. It just so many things can change. And one change can ruin your entire setup. And Punke having some flashbacks in TTM, failing Breezeless, failing Mountain Clip. This is not how you want this TTM to go right now. Yeah, small slip up. 47 may be dead, but 48 still surely on the table here. Rocking that lead over Viro. Yeah, the lead not looking as big as it was, though. Definitely, you know, a little bit tinier. And the chat's still keeping it coming with the egg puns. We've opened a can of worms that we cannot close. Yeah, we're actually very sorry, chat. We did not mean to. Oh my god, Viro is not very sorry at all. He's very angry, punching a wall on his way to reds. Yeah, that was a bit violent. I'm kind of pushing it. I mean, th this is a kid's game. There's no reason to be doing that sort of thing. I feel like there yeah, should be some sort of rules for that. But the beautiful movement, triple jump right up there. 
Makes it look easy. That is some pretty hard movement. This but is like one of the best in Horizon 70, honestly. The egg special. And an excellent job on these red coins from Viro. Oh! oh! The hardest part right there, that last red. Scrambling. Trying to get that red coin. A few cracks in the armor on that red, but see how secrets go. And that's honestly one of the downsides of doing this route. You have to do reds, which is a hard start, and then you have to do secrets right afterwards. And secrets is so tough. You don't have a lot of room for error. Yeah, it's extremely tight. But able to escape relatively unscathed. A couple battle wounds. Oh, okay, the classic. Got a blind by I don't know why. Like, it's 100% consistent. Cash card. I mean, that would make sense. I, I wouldn't expect it to be. Oh, the rogue Goomba sliding under Viro, going kamikaze mode in order to make Viro lose time. Crushing. Yeah. No good intentions on that game, this part. Doesn't get his long jump out, but he backs up really nicely. Escapes the water. Hope everyone in chat has sunglasses for Punk ASL. You definitely need them. Oh, what a bonk for Pyro. I haven't seen people bonk right there in like forever. It's usually just straight down, but sometimes the camera doesn't work with you. Putting in these work, putting in these piranhas into their grave, taking over. But man, it's it's an uphill battle. For sure, it's always pressure. it's always an uphill battle. Okay, the guys' pancakes stay buttery smooth. Here we go. But punk has got to be feeling good, egg static, even perhaps, because he is. Killing, quite frankly. I feel like bringing up pancakes definitely brought the egg chip back. <laughs> Route's about to sneak up soon. Okay, just needs to finish up HMC. Coming back down here for nips. Doing a nice punch grab. The pace is incredible. He just never slows down. I don't know how. It's a skill in and of itself, honestly. It's weird because Punky's kind of had that for as long as I can remember. He's always been a very strong racer. And he's only gotten better. As the league has gone on, he's gotten even more fierce more consistent which makes sense you know the more races you do the better you get yeah but even at the top i mean he's already at the top but still seeing improvement it's crazy i know one of the first times i watched punk he hadn't played in like a year and a half or something and he just turns on a stream has like media share and texas Beach stuff on the stream the entire time and you just bust out a 49 like it's nothing just a laser focus in his gameplay has no problem at all. Here we go. But there's a lot of talent up and coming in Division 1 and Division 2. Players on the grind, making moves. Who will be the one to dethrone Punk A? Because I feel like, you know. Cheese and Punk are obviously the top. There's a lot of great D1 players. But I think if there were to be obviously one player 
that is like sitting on the throne, it would be Punk. He won pace season one. He's poised to perhaps take season two. Yeah, the only person who's beaten him in these GSA things have been do whatever, pretty sure. Besides like the 120 Invitational, I think she's won that one. But as far as 70 goes, the only person who's taken uh, Punk A down has been D whatever. It's interesting, D whatever, I feel like, and Punk A are cut from different cloth. You know, Punk A's got the consistency, the strats aren't the flashiest, whereas D whatever has got such an impressive attention to detail. All the lag reductions that you can think of, that man is putting them out on top of some of the hardest strats in the game. It's just the consistency. That's really it. D whatever is definitely capable of like pulling out at 46. Low 47s, of course, has the world record. But mastering that consistency, being able to pull out those strats at a moment's notice is the next step. But here it is, Punk A going up to Tippy. 48 pace for sure. Stacking it up. He's just got a fat stack of 48s in his room. Yeah. He actually holds all the 48s captive. Does not let anyone stop them. He's hoarding them. Kind of like the boxes that he gets from all his controllers he buys. Okay, does indeed have a... Perhaps borderline unhealthy amount of Nintendo products. The man likes to browse eBay in his spare time. Do you ever need a controller? Punk is the man to reach out to. He has got literally probably boatloads of stuff. I don't know how yeah. it's still fit into his house, but a very nice cruiser from the man. Not having any trouble with it. It's just actually insane so many of these stars people just fall victim to okay doesn't have any trouble with them at all oh viro just barely missing the slide kick into the star i gotta say viro's oh wait sorry i'm commentator looking at the wrong screen <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. I just looked back and I was like, what? What do you mean? My bad. I've got the chat on the left side, but also with the delayed stream. Yeah. I've got the delayed stream. Been doing this for years, still not quite sure how it all works. Not sure if we'll ever get there, but I'm trying my best. That's all that matters. Ooh, what a bomb. Okay. His first mistake in a while, actually. Outside of PTM. And that that's probably the smallest mistake you could make in Rainbow Ryan. Like, thinking of all the common mistakes that players do make, that's a very minute one out of what could happen. Yeah. Just a small ego crusher. Nothing too big. Oh, oh he's that's hold on. That's big, actually. That is big. Good backup. Nice triple jump. Ooh, okay. I thought he was gonna go for the kick there. Playing it safe. Now this strat can be scary. Triple jump on the flame spitter. Ooh, hesitating. Oh, the platforms oh, no. are going down. He has to reset them. Does he know? Okay. Oh, 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 oh no, no. <laughs> Tonke. Funke tried to out IQ the game, but the game was not having it, not letting him over there to the start. Wow. Not being able to clear it, taking so much time loss here at the end of Rainbow Ride now. Funke, very strong, able to back up and sort of recover from these sort of mistakes. We'll see if he can close it out. And that looks good, but man, that is some huge time loss. Another slip up like that, and Viro could very realistically be right back in this thing. For sure, and that's actually one of the drawbacks of being way too consistent. You don't see Punk A doing a backup like that ever. Yeah, that that turned into a very sloppy show very quickly. He was kind of clipping around on the platforms, 
and they started going down and then going from I, I've never works going on the right side yeah there might have been some catch up on his pancakes right there definitely don't want that oh viral with the fall Man, taking the fall couldn't really afford that one it was not in his budget the IRS coming now to Viro's house demanding some sort of payment or he is going to start dealing with forfeiture the lights are going to go out in his house yeah they might even be banging on his door right now that could explain a lot of things but despite the FBI all of a sudden, the FBI now coming in and banging as well. Not sure what they're on about. Viral perhaps engaging in some illegal activity. Still, busting out a nice tricky triangles. <laughs> and getting called out in chat. Viral is from Canada. <laughs> Fair point. The Canadian IRS. Rumors coming out of chat, Viro's a known speed dealer. I, I don't know about that one. I don't know if we can buy that one. That seems like we might need some more evidence there. Or it's possible. He's a speed runner, so the, I mean, there's some speed, you know, so. Bit of a stretch. But 100 coin in the bag for Punk A. Five more stars, and it's time to deal with the big King Koopa. Spin him around, do the thing. You know the deal. Okay, definitely knows the deal. Not getting that cypher, though. Here we go. Barrow making his way through, has some false slip ups. Oh, that's another one that you don't want for sure. Camera does not cooperate with him right here. I'm trying to line up perfectly, but the game's just not letting him up. Getting a glitchy bomb on the fence. Here we go. Okay, he decides to back out. Definitely smart. And Punk A just continuously speeding through. Vyra making all these makes on 100 coin. He's kind of riding his own end. Yeah, dig in himself deeper. He's got the shovel. He's ready. Picked out the casket. Oh. And the funeral scheduled for tonight. Not getting flipped, though. Just like Pancake. I think, I think at the beginning of the season, Byro was excited. Maybe even purposely rigged a bracket. The results so he can play Pancake first and eliminate him, but it's not going his way here. Finally managing to pick up these 100 coins. Yeah, this, I mean, it, it was rough from the very start. Punk A laser focused up until Rainbow Ride had that small slip up, but I think he can still get a 48, if not a very low 49. Take a, incredible. a good bit of 140. Put this route. So, yeah, this is a. Barely 48, but it's definitely still one. But a great way to come into the playoffs. First match, pretty nice, minus the Rainbow Ride slip up. But even with that, still a great time. Viral trying to find a wall kick. That that camera angle is so mean. Like, it's just barely off, so you can't go straight up. You kind of got to yeah. go a little bit to the right. It's kind of awkward. Viral figures it out, but here we go. Okay, entering Sky has all the time in the world to work with. Probably gonna play it really safe here. Ran around the amp. If I were taking a little fall right there, definitely not what you want. <laughs> No, I think that's exactly what Byro wanted. Looks like he has got the right back <laughs> oh, up. And no. boom! Just like that, right into the hole. No problem at all for Byro. And Punk A knows what's going on, does not even bother going for triple jump wall kick. Unbelievable. I'm actually so bad right now. 
I cannot I, I believe you took the bull. I think it's very believable, but yes. Is it is it exciting? Is it hot? Is it flashy? No, but Punke is not here to impress us. He's here to show us that he, at any given moment, if you just wake him up in the middle of the night and you say, Punke, I'm on the line. My family is in danger. We need a 48 right now. Can you please drop a 48? Punke will gladly do it. And although the, the family would die right now because he's in the 49, <laughs> generally, generally, he's able to bust out a 48. But here it is. And never mind. Never Don't mind. worry. Let's hit the bomb. The GSA script says that there are no deaths. We just happened to save the family. Miraculously, the family is saved. Not sure how that happened. Didn't even know there was a family until now. But all this information coming at me so fast, I just I accidentally uh, slipped up. And there it is, a 49-21 for Punky in the bag, taking the W over Viro. Not a problem at all, and that's going to push him into the semifinals. So it's going to be the, the classic. I think we've seen this matchup a couple times. I just want to double check it. But I do believe it's going to be Punke versus Paracusia in the yep. semifinals. Two good Classic. friends, rivals, lovers perhaps. It's possible. They they spend a lot of time together, you know, they have a good time. Definitely some good buddies, but when it's time to face off in the semifinals, all friendships are on hold. It's time to play Mario. So it's Benji64. Versus D whatever on one side of semifinals. Benji taking the W over Cheese. Absolutely crazy, by the way. Benji been making Big huge upset. waves. Huge improvements throughout the league. Oh, okay, but You already have that start, but thanks for flexing on us. <laughs> <laughs> Byro with the Big Daddy moves, realizing that it is, in fact, GG. And, yeah, I mean, wow, these are going to be some spicy matches. So that's D1, and then on D2 side, we have got Blue Bob and Pete. Blue Bob versus Pete race. and Drogi versus JJ. It is going to be extremely spicy. It's just heating up. This is the first step. My goodness. What are your thoughts, Tama? These playoffs are spicy, honestly. <laughs> but Thank I'm saving it for the drama. You're secretly what? Sorry. I... I'm, I'm looking for the drama. Looking for the drama. Fair enough, drama, it's pretty exciting. Not gonna lie. You know, a lot of people like to beat, beat around the bush, be like, I don't like drama, but come on. If it ain't, if it isn't your drama, it's, it's, it's pretty spicy. spicy. You look the way. And Punky versus Para, that's, that's gonna be some, that's gonna be some drama. It's gonna be a full on play. Yeah, no matter who wins, there's gonna be some trash talk. And Byron just really likes reds, apparently. It's his favorite star. Just grabbing it over and over again. This time he's actually going to grab a different star. Making Big Daddy plays. Here we go. Oh, the nice timing on the long jump. And that is that. Will Viro complete the run, though? Everybody waiting on the edge. Not sure what his plan is. He has been slowly accumulating stars. One more to get. No points on the line. We, we, we aren't worried about points right now. We're just having a good time. But out of all these players that are in the playoffs, Tama, who is taking home the Division I championship title? This Ooh, that's a rough season. one. It's a rough one for sure. Punky, kind of distracted. Do whatever's been playing every day. But he's still not that consistent. He's not as consistent as Punky, at least. But he still has really strong gameplay. He saw, he like showed it off today. Had a like low 25. I think it was like a 25 x fire C time. Which just like, it's insane, dude. If you can channel that, you can definitely take it from Punky. Moving forward, it is best of threes. Yeah, I, I, I want to put my money on D whatever. But the thing is, I know as we get deeper here into the season, sorry, into these playoffs, it's just going to get even more and more nerve-wracking for the players. And Punke has already been through this so many times. He's already proven that he can handle the pressure. Taking taking a 2-0 victory against Cheese 
at pace. But to be fair, those matches were extremely close against Cheese. Like, yeah. those could have easily been anybody's game. So... Came down to Sky. I don't know, man. Any Whoever can keep it down. I... If I had to, if I had to put my money on it, I think I... I would put my money on D whatever. I'm feeling good about D whatever. I think this might be his moment. This might be his season. Yeah, it might be his year. World record holder. Got three world records this year. In this category. Best of threes, best though. That's going to change it yeah. a bit. That That's like a whole nother world. You know, one race, it's fine. But Two back-to-back. -back. Definitely testing your stamina. Absolutely. And once you get to three, it's really a test. And everybody, it's a test of the commentators, the runners, everybody involved <laughs> is being tested because that is quite an endeavor, a lot of action to go through. And only the best of the best can persevere. It's one thing to take one game off of somebody, but to be able to keep that momentum going, keep that energy going. GG, Viral wraps it up. And that's that. Viral versus Punke, Punke advances, Punke versus Para. Benji versus you, whatever. It's all going at it next week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Tama, as always, it is just an absolute blast with you in the booth, man. Thank you for joining me. I had an excellent time. I did too. That was a good time. Chat, hey, shout outs to you guys. The egg puns were excellent. They were just wonderful. So shout outs. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So Everybody have a good night. Of course, coming up next weekend is the, or this weekend is the playoffs for the Mario Maker League, which I've been doing a lot of commentating for. It's been an absolute blast. Would highly recommend checking it out because these are going to be the top of the top players. Very close matches. A lot of decision making. Fast paced action. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching and have a good night. Peace out. Bye bye.